Hello and welcome to my review of the Continuum Titanium Edition bracelet by Roman Gautier. The watch has been kindly lent to me by Roman Gautier and his team. Let's get started. The Continuum was first released near the end of 2021. When I first saw collectors posting photos of their pieces online, I have to admit I wasn't very impressed. The dial seemed too plain and the way the rubber strap flared out appeared disproportionate. However, after wearing the watch for a bit, my opinion has completely changed. The Continuum is one of the nicest sports watches I've ever tried, and here's why. My highlight of the Continuum is how well the watch wears. Despite measuring 41mm by 9.5mm on paper, the watch wears much smaller due to the lug design. Specifically, the case and lugs have been slightly redesigned on this bracelet model to form a single surface. The highly comfortable bracelet also hugs the wrist and is almost unnoticeable due to how light it is. In terms of wearability, the Continuum is worlds apart from something like a VC Overseas or 41mm Royal Oak, both of which have similar dimensions. And that's not even before considering that the Grade 5 Titanium used in this watch helps it weigh a mere 85 grams. Let's move on to the looks. The dial on this particular model is clean and airy, without any date window or unwelcome element to ruin it. One small detail I especially enjoy is the R markers, which are made entirely of superluminova and are quite bright as a result. While some may find this particular variation a bit monotone given the grey dial on grey titanium, it's worth pointing out that the brand is releasing a beautiful salmon dial version soon. Also, for those that opt for the platinum model on the rubber strap, you'll actually have the amazing option to fully customize your dial. In my eyes, the Continuum also has one of the best looking integrated bracelets out there. The finishing is astounding, especially considering it's done in titanium, which is notoriously harder to work with. I mean, just look at those amazing mirror polish center links. As a side note, I was able to try on the rubber strap version as well, and contrary to my initial opinions, it does look good and wear well. That being said, if you don't like the original strap, the lugs cut to size rubber straps will fit the watch well too. Finally, let's move on to the case back. While the Continuum naturally does not have the same level of finishing as Romain Gautier's more expensive watches, it's still plenty good for the price point. More importantly, I really like the unique flowing architecture and classic Gautier elements, such as the gear design. This entirely new caliber still looks distinctly like a Romain Gautier even at a glance. So overall, the Continuum is a handsome sports watch that is well finished and wears extremely comfortably. It's also quite the intriguing prospect as there aren't many high horology sport watches in either titanium or platinum. Nonetheless, there are some small things that I hope can be improved in the future. The first is the addition of micro adjustment for the bracelet, which is really useful in the heat and humidity of Singapore. The other is the ability to switch between bracelet and strap, which is currently not possible as the bracelet edition features a redesigned case and lug section. As someone who loves both rubber straps and bracelets, I hope some sort of compromise can be reached in the future. Before I end this video, I just want to say a big thank you to Roman Gautier and Mo, who works for the brand and goes by The Winding Stem on Instagram. I had the privilege of meeting them multiple times in Singapore, and they are truly some of the most friendly and passionate people in the industry. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. There's plenty more coming up, so if you enjoyed what you saw, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. The support really means a lot to me. Thank you.